to Lake Argyle. We've pulled up about, oh, I don't know, 8.30 and um, we've got to wait till about 12 o'clock to see if there's any sites. We're chasing, desperately chasing power. Had four weeks without a good charge of the batteries and they're getting a bit low. Um, so, five weeks. So we should know about 12 o'clock what site we've got. If we can't get a power site, they've advised we'll definitely get an unpowered site and we can always move. Um, in the meantime, we're allowed to have a look around, use the facilities. So we're strolling in. We're gonna go have a squeeze at the pool and the cafe and um, wait till 12 o'clock. Today was the day, four weeks and one day in. I well lost it and decided that I don't like camping anymore. Four weeks to go. So, he has been very patient. Look at that face. We all know that face, don't we? It's great. And managed to go through it now, so that's good. But made a decision that when we return, we'll be buying a car. Many reasons. Charles being great for it for what it is, but it's not for us and what we want to do anymore. So four weeks of being dirty, not having a toilet, all that. No, no, no. So. So this is on the road in and out of Lake Argyle. And we found this rock here. Mate had shown me this a few years ago. I managed to remember where it was. And uh, came and had a look at some pretty impressive Aboriginal artwork in the caves. Can't quite make that out, but it's pretty stunning. Too privileged to be able to see it all. Yeah, this looks familiar. Yeah, so you gotta go in. I don't want to go in there. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, here's the crocodile right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, wow. Follow the path. Can you help Poppy? Can you please help Poppy? Oh my goodness. On this side. Okay. Yeah. What's that? Can't quite make it out. Huh? Can't quite make it out. Is it a tree? Sort of. I don't know. Yeah, that crocodile is incredible, eh? Yeah, it is. So this is the border. It's all the COVID people. WA and Northern Territory. <laughs> this is a line of line of people should we wave at them trying to get into <laughs> wa there's a few of them not as many as i thought but there is a few
saw someone reversing up the road <laughs> out of the Northern Territory and into the w, into WA. I'm facing the right way. <laughs> I said, yeah, but I, I was reversing. I wasn't going the wrong way up a wrong way road. Which he had a chuckle about. And uh, it's all sweet. We're, we're, we're back in WA. So did you say, I was just taking a photo at the sign. We're not Yeah, I said the kids over. wanted to come see the border. We're not leaving. And we're not leaving the state. But uh, here we go, kids. WA Northern Territory border. Did we just cross? We put a foot in Northern Territory. Yeah, yeah. the police officer filmed it. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's the Argyle Homestead Museum. It's just outside of the uh, Lake Argyle Caravan Park, just down the road. Come and have a squeeze, see what it's all about. Argyle, no, when we were at the uh, Durack Homestead, Tim, yep. you got a message from Luca. Oh, yeah. And what did it say? <laughs> it was a very friendly message from our mate Luca back home saying, Don't cross the Northern Territory border. They've just gone into a snap lockdown. <laughs> Meanwhile, only 30 minutes earlier, we accidentally crossed the border. <laughs> Oops. So luckily we didn't go any further, um, that would have been a complete disaster. So, um, you know, confirmed what we already knew, stick to WA. Apparently, we're not going over. <laughs> Definitely not going. So we got as far as we did. We took a sign with Catherine with Catherine, that's as close as we got that's to close. Catherine. Yeah, so that's it for this trip unfortunately, but yeah, lucky we didn't do it, hey. Bloody COVID. Yeah, these backseat bogan. Come 
guys. Come on in. You. <laughs> Turns out it's re it's a rebadged, renamed catfish, yeah. which used to sell for two bucks a kilo. Yeah, it was all right. Two stars, two stars out of five on the eating guide. Yeah, um, yeah, it's probably about that. But it was fine enough. Um, and and everyone had a swim um, as well off the back of the boat. So um, yeah, really really good tour. It was um, probably the highlight of the, the stay there for me. Um, uh, pretty good place. The infinity pool was great. Really really. Really busy, as you can imagine. Um, their facilities were pretty good. Five dollars a load of, for a load of washing, not too bad. Um, yeah, no, I had a bar, had a restaurant, pretty limited choice of um, food, which you would expect because it's in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Um, but yeah, really, really good stay. Um, I'm heading off to Kananara now to restock. Um, get in cold, get a few things. Got to get that D shack we lost. Like two weeks ago, brake cable snapped on the trailer. And the brake cable snapped, so we've got to replace that as well. And I'm also hoping to go through a car wash and spray off the car and the trailer. So as we keep leaning against it, every time you touch it, you just get filthy. So yeah, just give it a bit of a clean, um, so it's not quite so gross. Um, heading to the Bungle Bungles today. Not sure how long that's going to take. Probably a bit of a drive. Um, we go with the road in, uh, but that's. That's it is what it is. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll check in later on. Hopefully we find a wallet. Oh yeah, and Tim lost his wallet. We think it's just temporarily misplaced. We've left our number at Lego. I'm not sure what use that is. Guess they'll have to post it. Alright, so we'll see how that goes. Thought we'd give the car and the trailer a little birthday. Coming back through Kananara. Really, it's because Catherine's sick and tired of getting dirty every time she touches the car or the trailer. Oh, here she comes. Get my heels. Yeah, so we've come back through Kananara and um, Catherine thought she'd give it a quick wash. I had to go find an auto shop to um, find a few bits and pieces, the brake cable for the trailer and a bow shackle. I think Finn wants to try find a, uh, a cast net and try his hand at throwing a cast net. So we'll try to do that as well, pick up some supplies and keep on moving. Thanks for watching guys. That's it for this episode at Lake Argyle. In the next episode, we turn our nose south and head down to Pernalulu and go and explore the Bungle Bungles. If you like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that icon and uh, share with all your mates. Catch you soon. And just remember, you gotta be tripping.